You see this, right? Doesn't that look familiar? Take a look at the jester. So after all the excitement yesterday over this trailer and all the overwhelmingness and just the, you know, I just, I was so over the moon over the trailer. I couldn't even really focus on like what was actually happening in the trailer. So today I wanted to go over this and just talk about the things that I've noticed and things that I've missed and just kind of like rewatch it and get like an, uh, an analysis, if you will, of the video. So first things first, this is permanent. Now we learned in a drip marketing that permanent is actually a diver a renowned diver and like likes to do this and like kind of escape reality through this. And I didn't know if it was like a dangerous scenario, like he was drowning. But the thing is, he has no snorkel or anything. So and he wakes up kind of suddenly. So I don't know if something bad was happening there, or if he was actually just meaning to dive like normal. Um, second thing is I realized Lenny keeps on talking about things being fake. Things being a lie, things not being real, you know, and I totally missed the description, by the way, uh, the description, you know, it says, enjoy a rapid, uh, rapid as ode, sung in reverse, enjoy a whirling waltz drowning in tears of joy and sorrow. And then the, the line that really jumps out at me, enjoy a magical performance for which none shall applaud. That's the biggest thing for me. Because he keeps on saying it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. Things are not real, it's not real. And then going back to Arla Chino, where she's like, it's not enough. And, you know, you guys are just actors and pushes them over. I feel like the performance is, like it says, it's not being shown to anyone, essentially. So, and it seems very repetitious too. We'll get into that later. But also the VAs at the bottom as well. Um... First of all, Ray Chase immediately knew that. I mean, immediately knew that was him um, at the end there. He's in like everything. He's like, he's the master of masters in, uh, in Kingdom Hearts. He's um, he's in like, he's literally in everything. He's in everything. Amber Lee, Collin, or Amber Lee Connors is the Archon. We knew Aaron was the uh, Arlecchino. And then uh, the names are kind of in somewhat of an order of, of how they're shown in the video. Navia is the, the girl dressed in yellow. And then, yeah, and then we know, uh, also, yeah, Damon, Damon Mills, he's actually going to be the English VA for, uh, Blade in Star Rail. So that's going to be interesting. Getting back to the video right here. He says, the essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. And the most important part of this is what people see. So as a magician, it seems like that's just a normal thing to say. Right. Like, you know, you, people have to believe the lie because it's supposed to look like it's, you know, magic. Right. But I think there's a deeper meaning to that. <laughs> then we have Navia here. They expect their eyes to tell them the truth. And I believe there's a geo vision on her. There's Charlotte. Once again, we knew that she's cryo. What you see is not real. It's all it's a show. What you see is not real. It's all a show. So I'm going to get into it a little bit later. But here we have what looks to be like Dark Sampo. <laughs> and I realized he was reading the paper, but he was trying to feel around and every part of the show is for the right cup. As if he's blind, you know? So, and he has his little helper there as well. And she's trying to like, hey, hey, you know, you, you, you took the wrong Drake, man. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't look like he's blind, but his eyes do look kind of pale. So possibly, you know, I don't know, but uh, he's dressed pretty well for someone who's, who's blind, but maybe she did it for him. But he, the sense that he has, he, he has that companion there. That makes me believe more so that he is blind, but doesn't that doesn't have to be, could have just been kind of, you know, out of it there. And this I thought was the sewers, but it's actually just a transition. And funny enough, this guy is actually, I think it's Nuvaletti, so you say his name. This guy is actually the guy at the end as well. So if you can see the bottom right hand corner, that's, that is the same individual at the end of the video and here as well. So I believe so. It's the same person. And I've noticed on him, he has this little necklace here with like a lot of different colors. And I didn't quite catch a vision. Controls these three controls everything. And these shots, 
But yeah, I didn't catch a vision on him. It could very well be somewhere in a shot we can't see. But he very much looks to be crowd just with all the blue. But, you know, safe to assume. But at the same time, it's not that safe to assume. He could maybe just not have one. So, you know. And what I also noticed too, which is crazy. The girl on the left. You see this like pendant right here? Like this little, this, this hanging thing. Let me see if I can try and like zoom in a little bit here if you can, so you can really see. So when you zoom in, you see this, right? Doesn't that look familiar? Take a look at the jester. See that pendant? That blue pendant there? Take a look at Tartagula. The red pendant on his side. Take a look at Pulselina. The navy blue pendant, Arlecchino. The, the violet pendant. His purple pendant. Her orange pendant, the Tory. So, and these are all the Harbingers. So it really makes me question what is going on with this character. I have some a lot of questions for this character. I'm really sus of this character because she has that exact same pendant, just like the Tory's color. And also, also by the way, totally went over my head. She has a gun. Didn't even catch that the first time. I was just so like overwhelmed. This isn't new though. Uh, we already have like rifles and in Genshin. There's already like uh, we we don't have it ourselves. We can't use it as a weapon type. But uh, the Fatui power agents have it. You know that the gunners they have it. They shoot you all the time. They have they have rifles. So it's not new for to that. Um, it will be new if we can use them. But going back to what I was saying before, the Fatui are the ones that have these weapons. And she has the pendant like the Fatui Harbingers have. So I'm really, really sus about this character. Like, so I, I highly doubt we'll actually get this as a weapon type in the game uh, so soon. But I mean, it'd be cool if we did. I mean, I'm, I'm all for it, but I'm not going to get my hopes up, though, just because, you know, you always want to keep your hopes low so you can be surprised. But um, that'd be awesome if we did. You can see she had the uh, Electro Vision on her collarbone there. So you can very clearly see she's Electro. Controls everything. And speaking of visions, in this shot, ever since 2.4, we have not gotten a Geo character. That was Yunjin. That was like easily over a year ago. This is our first Geo character ever since Yunjin. Also, I love the like the cinematic value of this. The music is so happy and uppity and so you know like uh, joyous. And then cuts to her. Dead silence. I, I love that. Very fun. But it's not enough. <laughs> now listen to this. Let me make something clear. You think of yourselves as magicians, but when you're on the stage, you're first and foremost actors. Good actors hone their craft to mesmerize the whole crowd. So she uses the word memorize. She pushes them over as if they're fake and she says it's not enough first and foremost you guys are actors you guys are not you guys are not what you are aspiring to be first and foremost you're actors so what you're doing you're acting something out aka it's like fake not real right and they keep on going on with this this narrative and there's one more piece of the puzzle i'm going to get to at the end but also want to talk about Arlie Sheena real quick just a side note very much looks like, looks like she's Pyro. Um, when the camera pans around her, people were saying that the on her back, it looks like a Pyro vision. Although she is a Fatui Harbinger, so she very well could have a delusion. However, even if it is or it isn't, I think that she'll definitely have some sort of showing of Pyro powers because in this shot... Goosebumps right here, man. Crazy. The transition, she snaps and it goes into this, uh, to this like burning picture, uh, you know, showing the the sound of fire and also visually showing it as well. Um, and also when I'm point out to just this shot here, when she snaps this right here, like this shot is crazy. It looks like Sino doing his burst, you know, in the beginning, crazy shot. What I want to mention as well. Lenny kept on talking about how everything is fake, 
It's only what you see. It's all an illusion. It's all a lie. It's not real. It's not what you think. Our Latinos saying you're first and foremost actors. You know what I mean? Take all of that and look at this. I'm not sure if you guys know about how like photos, like real developed photos used to be, but usually you would take him and you would, you could shake out the photo, right? And eventually it would actually show the picture, right? Notice how this picture is black. There's nothing there. There should be something there. If there was something real, it would be there. But notice how there's nothing there. You know, and that's like the clear cut example of something should be there, but it's not. But why? Boring. I mean, why do I even bother? When are we going to finally see a real twist for once? She says, you know, oh my God, why do I even bother? Like, when are we actually going to see a real twist? So like something real. And that, that makes me think, once again, everything being fake, but also maybe it being repetitious. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's like the same performance. And it also goes back to the description where it says, enjoy a magical performance for which none shall applaud. No one's there. No one's watching. And if they are watching, they're just sitting there straight faced, tough crowd. No one's applauding. No one's happy. No one's celebrating your performance. They're just sitting there. So it kind of ties into all the fake this and fake that and, you know, actors and this, that and the third, you know, in the picture being completely blank. It's all it's all a lie. It's all fake. When are we going to see a real twist for once? You know, um, also, I should mention to had no idea, but uh, supposedly this is the Archon. This is the Hydra Archon. This is Fosalurus. So um, probably could have got that easily from just like the sort of like what looks to be drops of water. But once again, it was going by so fast for me last night. I couldn't even couldn't even fathom this. But this is supposedly Fosalurus or or um, Farina, actually Farina. If you look at her the description once again, Farina, Amber Lee Con Amber Lee Collins is the English voice. Farina is uh, the Archon. When are we going to finally see a real twist for once? Please refrain from levity in the court. This trial is far from over. Now, he talks to her. So levity means humor or frivolity, especially the treatment of a serious matter with humor or in a manner lacking due respect. So... He's clearly talking to Farina, uh, the Hydra Archon right there, when he says, you know, please, you know, no levity in the court, which kind of made me think that he was like talking to her aggressively as if she was the one at question. Right. But the thing is, when he says this trial is not anywhere near over yet, he kind of looks up just kind of thinking, you know, to himself, like just saying it broadly. Right. Clearly, this whole thing, this whole fake thing, this whole thing that we've been talking about about this trailer, this is the task at hand. This is what we're trying to, you know, figure out. This is the trial, if you will. Now, I may be looking a little too far into this, but take a look at this as well. So Charlotte takes a photo of uh, Nuvia, right? Plenty of photos. She throws the photo in the air. And it transitions to this. Now, we talked about how possibly this guy is blind. So what he's he's not reading anything. He's not looking at anything. Which goes back to everything being fake. She just tossed the picture and now it goes to him and he's reading it. As, they're not reading it, but he's reading something that he can't even see. So it kind of goes back to what Fosalores was holding in her hand, that picture that was blank. Because it's nothing is real. Nothing is actually there. You know, so I don't know how far this extent is going to go, but this whole, you know, illusionary thing is really hitting hard in this trailer when I watch it back. And it's weird because I thought it was going to be more about justice and whatnot, you know, but I guess it's more going to be about like illusions and and lies, you know, but I guess lying can result with uh, justice as well. Also, locations are kind of showing a little bit like there's like kind of where that, uh, Ah, I forget what it was called. What, what Alice called that little, that cute little like bunny rabbit thing that was running around. Mussolini. 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 
kind of where that area was. So that is my theory. My my theories, I should say, the things that I took away from this trailer. All that she knows is Pyro, but it could be a delusion. Um, you know, pretty much everything is fake. Nothing's real. Uh, you know, performing for an audience who doesn't actually applaud. Um, I feel like something wrong is happening with L Lynette. Lynette seems to never smile. She's never happy. She never has a smirk. She's never like joyous. She's always just like kind of straight faced. I mean, he even smiles when he looks at her and she's just looking like, you know what I mean? So something's wrong with Lynette or, you know, her background or something. Something's wrong or she's ca she's caught on to how fake all this stuff is. Um, first Geo character ever in 15 years. Uh, photos being a big part of the illusion of what's real and what's fake. Um, this guy being blind. I don't know if that's <laughs> real or not, but we'll see. Uh, this girl's really sus. Fatui. A lot of Fatui stuff going on. Even the pattern on her her, her outfit. Her outfit seems very Fatui-like. So really sus of her um, possibility of maybe having to use guns. That kind of looks like she is a Fatui agent right there. Um, these two just kind of going through hell, it seems like. That's that's my opinion. I feel like these guys are under control. You know, like Arlecchino was like controlling them. Not like puppets, but like mentally. I feel like Arlecchino is not really one to be physically strong, but more of mentally strong. I feel like she's going to be a lot more manipulative. And that's why she's able to kind of take over these two i'm not saying that she has or that that's the case but that's what i that's my theory is like she's kind of in charge or looking over them because it just varies it's, it just seems like that in my head you know and like i said i think arlachino is a very 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 manipulative person she has the house of hearth or the heart of house or something like that i forget but um you know and that's like just full of people that are probably under her under her rule so you know arlachino not a good person very very bad individual um and like i said i think it's it goes all up here very very manipulative manipulative so yeah those are pretty much my takeaways uh full stores at the end here with the picture you know it's a blank picture where is the picture at why is it not showing up um it's because it's all fake and then oh here's a good shot so they're they're from they're looking from this perspective and looking out and last but not least i just want to say to my future self and to all of us I cannot wait to get through this Archon quest and look back at this trailer, just like we did with Sumeru, and understand what all this stuff meant. I cannot wait. I love this moment of mystery right now that we have before we get there, but going back to look at it afterwards, we'll know what all this stuff means. I can't wait to have that, like, oh, you know, moment, you know, where we, like, actually realize, oh, that's what that meant, you know? I just can't wait for that moment, so... I relish in this limbo of mystery and um, can't wait for it. That's all I have to say pretty much. I probably did miss some things. Let me know in the comments what you guys saw. What did you guys see that I didn't see? Uh, what, what was what was like some very specific things you kind of that kind of caught your eye? Um, any theories that you have or, you know, if you're sus of any characters, let me know in the comments and that'll do it for me. Can't wait for Fontaine. I wish 3.8 would just end already. <laughs> Haven't even gotten there yet. But nah, you know, I'll enjoy the last one before Simuru ends. Simuru was a great ride. Um, great Archon Quest. And they've been getting better. The writing's been getting a lot better. So I'm looking forward to Fontaine. And once again, let me know what you guys thought about it. And I will catch you guys in the next one.